today I'm going to be showing you the proper strategy to submit a low ball offer and hopefully turn it into a bird deal. Chaz and Michelle, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and uh, today... I'm working with uh, Chaz and Michelle, okay? We got a mother-son team of investors. And you guys, this is not your first rodeo, all right? You guys, out-of-state investors, you've got a portfolio of cash flow properties in Indiana that's doing well for you. You guys would like to expand your holdings to the Cleveland market. So uh, I'm hoping that the Holton Wise team can help out here now. What you want to do, you want to do bird deals, and you're hoping to stay around an $80,000 or so budget. You said you have no problem going up uh, if the deal makes sense, if it makes sense, right? So I got you a deal that's going to be very close to that, right? But we're going to have to get a low ball offer accepted for it to make sense because what they currently have going on, it wouldn't make sense for a bird deal. It's overpriced, right? So let's talk about it. 3400 West 170. Cleveland 44111. This is a duplex priced at $89,900 and it's been on the market for 75 days, right? Now, this is a solid C class neighborhood. I mean, we've got hundreds of duplexes just like this one uh, in this particular neighborhood. It, it, it's a it's a good property as far as the rents go. Let's talk about that first, right? The market rents seven fifty each unit, so fifteen hundred a month or eighteen thousand a year. One of those units right now currently has a tenant paying seven fifty. The other's vacant, and as we go through the photos, you'll see why. Which, by the way, as I'm here already, just want to let you know. Furnace, or I'm sorry, hot water tanks. This one looks to be under five years old, and those cost approximately $1,000 to replace. Uh, this one, if I had to guess, is probably in the 10 year or so range. So, you know, in the next five years, I would pencil in a thousand bucks for that. Updated electrical. All right, we got two furnaces, both probably in the 10 to 20 year range. All right. And then this is our occupied unit. It's looking uh, a little scuzzy in the bathroom, but they do have a tenant in there at 750. Now this is our other unit, right? This is the big issue. This is why it's a good bird deal, but also why it's way overpriced, right? We definitely need to do some work here, right? We don't even have fixtures uh, in the bathroom, so we definitely need to do a full renovation on that unit. And then we also need to spend some money here. I'm really glad that the listing agents, which by the way, it's listed by a company called Realty Express. I'm glad that they included this photo because this is a big one, okay? Now, this is a huge, 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 huge duplex, right? You see all that peeling paint? You know, this is built well before 19, what is it, 1976 is the year the lead-based paint, they stopped using lead-based paint, okay? So what we need to do, unless you want to have years and years of issues, because like right now, we have no record of any lead-based paint currently today. But if you continue to just repaint this, eventually what's going to happen is you're probably going to get cited by the city. They may check to see if there's any lead-based paint hazards, and there may or may not be some. Odds are good there probably will be some, right? So you don't want to like just continue painting this over and over and over, right? You want to spend some money and just encapsulate it. Take care of the problem. So you want to vinyl side this whole thing. This is a big ass property. So I mean, we're looking at like seven to ten thousand dollars to vinyl side this whole thing, right? So what I have, as far as renovations go, I think it's going to be about twenty thousand dollars on the inside, right? That upstairs, you know, we got to totally redo it, right? Uh, we got to refinish the floors, patch any holes in the walls, paint everything, agreeable gray, white trim. 
kitchen fixtures, bath fixtures. We're missing the bath fixtures, you know. So we're going to spend about $20,000 inside the house. And then we're going to spend between seven dollars and $10,000 outside the house, vinyl siding this thing, just so we could take care of this. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw in an additional $5,000. That is going to go towards the aw fuck fund. <laughs> Now, the off fuck fund is something that I like to include in any renovation where it's a big renovation, right? You guys probably being seasoned investors are well aware of this, but I think like new investors, right? I think they're very confused about this, right? They think that like, you know, we could just like look at this property and pencil this huge <laughs> renovation like down to the penny, right? There's a lot of unknowns. And then sometimes when you get started, uh, you start working on one thing and it leads to another thing and then more costs come up, right? So I want to tack on an additional five G's, right? The off fuck fund, right? Guys, when you're doing big, huge renovations like this, very possible for it to go five grand this way or that way, right? So $35,000 is what I think we're going to need to put into this. Now, they've listed it at 89.9. That is a problem. When this thing is all done, if we do all the work I just said that we need to do, this property will be worth, in my opinion, $100,000. So because of that, I think for it to make sense, I think the most money you guys could pay for this will be $55,000. So if you guys pay $55,000, Put 35000 into it. That leads us with a $90,000 property. Now, as far as what we'll make, you know, semi-annually or annually rather on an average basis, 15 is going to come in. An average of 729 is going to go out, leaving us with an NOI of 771. If we get everything to go how I'm wanting it to go, we're all in at 90. After we get it appraised, the bank will appraise it at 100. They'll loan us back 75, meaning you only have $15,000 into the deal, making it a 36.4% cash on cash return. So very successful bird deal, right? I think a lot of people, when they do the bird deals, uh, they think they're going to get all their money back. That's probably not practical, right? Um, especially in today's market where so many people are looking for investments and you guys wanted to go with multifamily, okay? When you have a multifamily property, first of all, in the Cleveland market, there's a lot less multifamily properties than single family properties. So, right, fewer inventory, right? That means there's gonna be fewer distressed multifamily properties out there. In addition to that, like in this one, one of the units is totally jacked, right? It's totally screwed up, okay? But they're still making money. They're still making 750 bucks a month off the other unit. So, there's just not going to be a lot of super distressed properties on the market. So thinking you're going to be able to burr all your money back out is probably pretty unlikely. If you guys wanted to attempt to do something like that, I would say you need to open up your search criteria a little bit. Maybe have me do the next video, including single family homes and also including D-class neighborhoods. We'll definitely have a lot more inventory to work with. But with the parameters that you've set for me today, multifamily, C-class, I think getting it at 55, putting 35 into it. So we're all in for 90 getting it to price for 10k more that will be in my opinion best case scenario now that goes back to the whole low ball offer right because right now these sons of bitches think they're gonna get 90 that's 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 bad shit crazy right that don't make no damn sense it needs thirty five thousand dollars of work right it's only gonna be worth 100 so 55 is all we could uh we could do here right now, if this just hit the market, I would say, man, let's just put in the offer, see what happens. But odds are good they're probably going to say no. But what we got to do is we got to slowly wait them out, right? When we're trying to get lowball offers accepted, folks, I think people, like, they get this notion that, like, we put in our offer, and if the seller says no, that's just it. It's over, right? Like, people think you got to do the deal right then and there. Oftentimes, what's going to help you get the deal done is days on the market. Right now, they're already starting to feel some fatigue, okay? There's anytime these duplexes come up, right? These Cleveland duplexes, man, these things are cash cows. They fly. When I sell them on the investment properties for sales show, I literally sell them the same day that they launch on Holton Wise TV, right? So 75 days on the market. That is an eternity for a duplex. So what that should be telling the seller is, yo, we priced this thing wrong, dog. If it was priced correctly, it would move. So some sellers, when they're on the market for quite a while, they start to slowly break down and understand that, hey, I'm not really going to get the price I originally wanted. And they start to become more open. So now 
that you know that fatigue should be setting in. Go ahead and we'll submit our lowball offer, but you know that might not be enough fatigue just yet to get the seller to cross the finish line, do the deal with us. But that's okay. We'll just let it out there, right? We'll let it ride. They might counter us, right? Maybe they counter us at like 80. We'll be like, no, that's okay. 55,000 is our highest and best offer. We're going to move on. And uh, if you change your mind, come back to us, right? So maybe at 75 days on the market, they're starting to think about it, but they don't want to do it. What about 105 days on the market? 125 days. Oftentimes, some of these folks are going to come back to you. Now, they might not always come back to you. Some fucking fool who doesn't subscribe to Holton Wise TV might overpay for this property. If he does, cool, let him. We don't care. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. We want to get the right property at the right price. We don't want to overpay, right? So let's put in our highest and best offer, which is definitely a lowball offer, 55000 It's almost half of what they want, but you can't really pay any more than 55000 for it to make any damn sense, right? If you paid 65000 well, the, well, there'd be no point to that because at that point you could have just bought one that's already put together and put down your 25k and been done with it. So 55 is the only price point that this thing makes sense. So anybody that pays more than 55,000 for this particular property is, in my opinion, making a really bad move. So I don't think that that is super likely. Again, there's a sucker born every day, so it's it's possible that somebody does. But other than that, I say we put in our $55,000 offer. We already should see some fatigue right here, and hopefully that fatigue continues. And one other thing, too, I've actually done... Uh, several deals with uh, this particular seller's agent before, right? And pretty sharp cat, knows what he's doing. So I would imagine not only do we have our offer telling him, yo, your house is really only worth 55. The long days on the market saying, yo, nobody wants this thing. I'm sure his agent's like, dude, nobody wants to buy this at this price. We need to lower the price or accept this offer, right? So with all those things going into play, because that agent, he knows the value, right? He's trying to talk some sense into a seller. Just sometimes you get some sellers that are incredibly stubborn, right? And until like so many different people tell them your price is crazy, they don't like to do anything, right? So for all those reasons, man, that's what I think we should do on this deal. 55 should be our highest and best offer, and I'm thinking we're probably going to have to wait a little while, and maybe the deal goes down, maybe it doesn't. If that makes sense to you guys, uh, let us know. We'll submit the offer on your behalf. Of course, we'll make it contingent on a third-party home inspection because after that home inspection comes out, if we see anything that's going to blow this budget out of the water, the deal wouldn't make sense, and we'd have to either renegotiate the price even lower or just move on to other deals, right? Like this uh, $35,000 budget, I'll tell you what the all fuck fun ain't gonna cover the all fuck fun ain't gonna cover major structural issues right so that's why we got to get those home inspectors in there do that due diligence inside the four walls right so Chaz and Michelle, let me know. If you guys want to do the deal, great. Uh, if not, let me know what you'd like to see me do differently. And perhaps uh, you guys could entertain the idea of maybe opening your search up to D-class assets and also single-family assets because I'm going to have so much more inventory to work with to try to put some really profitable bird deals uh, across your desk. So let me know what you guys want to do. Everybody else, if you enjoyed today's show... And uh, you're thinking about investing in this particular market, trying to get these types of cash flow opportunities, and you need a boots on the ground team, and you like how I'm doing things, go to holdenwise.com, click the property search for sale tab, click the MLS search and analysis show, order a package, right? We sell these in packages. You could start with just one property. We also do them in three packs, four packs, 10 packs. Uh, Chaz and Michelle, they bought a 10 pack. We discount the pricing, right? So the more you buy, the better the price per property is going to be. And uh, I do that for several reasons, right? The biggest one, the biggest reason, though, is I want to build a long-term relationship with you. And I know that if we're picking up these properties at the right price for the right investor at the right time, a lot of things have to fall into place, and not every deal is going to go down, right? If you If you have me do 10 properties for you, it's very unlikely that you're going to close on all 10 of those deals, right? It's a numbers game. There might be some fool 
who pays more than 55 on this property, so that blows this deal up, right? It's on the open market. There's 5,000 other realtors in Ohio, and how many people in the world are out there trying to make money, right? If everything goes how I want it to go, Chaz and Michelle are going to get a 36% return on their money. Who doesn't want to make a 36% return on their money, right? So it's a numbers game. It's a long-term thing. So you need to commit to my team. Right, You need to commit to us for us to be able to commit to you that much time, effort, and analytics into all these properties so we can build you guys a real estate portfolio the right way. And everybody else, right? If you're not ready to do any of that, you're just getting your, you know, dipping your toe in the water, so to speak, just getting your beak wet. The very first thing and the most important thing is education. So continue to watch what we got here on Holton Wise TV. We're all about education. So if you're a new viewer, make sure you smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reef is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. RentTech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email, and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in, so when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.